everybody. My name is Samuel Bergman. I'm a master's student at Johns Hopkins University getting my master's in biotechnology, and I'm also a graduate research assistant working under the Cho lab. Here today, I'm going to be presenting a study um, that is done within our lab that is titled The Slowing of Junctional Escape Rhythm Following Atrioventricular Node Ablation in a Porcine Model of Complete Atrioventricular Block. In this study, we have established a complete atrioventricular block within porcine models, and we were trying to understand a time course for the slowing of junctional escape rhythms in complete atrioventricular block following catheter ablation surgery. Here, we attached a pacemaker to the pig that is set to pace the heart at 50 beats per minute, and we ablated an area near and around the atrioventricular node. We wanted to observe a daily and weekly trend of pacemaker reliance increasing as the junctional escape rhythm decreased. This is important for research into novel treatments for congenital heart diseases, as this study provides a translatable model to human cardiac diseases and dysfunctions. We should care because this model serves as a consistent and effective depiction of complete atrioventricular block, and it allows us to study the relationship between the slowing of junctional escape rhythms following catheter ablation procedures. We hope that people are able to take away the fact that this model is not only efficacious and repeatable, but that the, it also provides a good basis for studying cardiac electrophysiology as well as overall cardiac functionality. We are also trying to be able to understand and look for novel treatments in treating congenital heart diseases in pediatric patients especially. This is because one of the large problems in treating uh, pediatric patients today pertaining to congenital heart diseases is that these treatments do involve sometimes highly invasive surgeries that do result in uh, atrioventricular block. Thank you, and I appreciate your time.